It's a week ago today that we actually filmed in the sweet corn and we explained part of the process of the sweet corn was the self-pollinization, how the tassel provided enough pollen and it would filter down and hit the silk of the corn and each silk represented a kernel. Here in the melon fields, it's actually, we have to mechanically assist the pollinization from the, the male flower of the cantaloupe plant and we have to somehow transfer the pollen from the male flower into the female flower. And to do that, uh, we actually bring out these beehives. You can see this behind me. And we time it to where there's enough flowers in the field, both male and female, that it will we'll get the cross-pollinization between the two. And you look here, you can see a little bit of movement. This is early in the morning. It's about 8 a.m. here. And typically about 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., is when we get the most activity out of the, the bee itself. Also critical to this particular timing of the growing of the cantaloupe is you hope for a lack of wind. On windy days, you tend to get very little bee activity into the field. They tend to hover more around the hives. So uh, we are forecast for the next four or five days to have fairly calm temperatures or calm wind conditions and above average temperatures. So the timing for pollinization is actually very optimal at this time.